And now, Chief Meteorologist Chad Merrill with your full seven-day forecast. Welcome back, folks. Hope you are enjoying this Monday. Seasonable temperatures out there, 38 in Marlington, 45 in Lewisburg, 38 in Beckley, 43 in Pipestem. Our temperatures won't move too much because we have a lot of cloud cover. A couple of these echoes are very weak, so maybe producing a sprinkle in Union and to the west of Welsh. But as this system rolls through because of the dry air at the surface, that's the extent of it. A couple of sprinkles here this evening. We are looking upstream to our next weather maker. This one across the northern plains producing some light snow with temperatures in the 30s. Up behind it, we actually have some milder air. This low pressure will be catapulting off towards the south and east. It's not going to tap the subtropical jet stream, which will be to the east of us. So it's pretty moisture starved as it carves out a trough as it moves east. What that means is we will have a quick shot of some snow in here early on Wednesday. There are winter weather advisories, but that's towards Pocahontas County and parts of the Monongahela National Forest. Here's what we expect snowfall wise on Wednesday. We're gonna kind of zoom in here and show you a profile, elevation profile because this storm will be in terms of snowfall accumulation, elevation dependent. So if you are in Thurmond, you will see about a half an inch of snow, but if you're in Concho or some areas of over 2,000 feet, you'll see about an inch of snow. And then as we zoom northward, this is obviously north of Marlington and the higher elevations of Pocahontas County, where we are going to see three to four inches of snow on Wednesday. Now, let's break it all down for you in terms of the timing and the lowdown on this particular event. The snow will start out as a rain snow mix about 10 o'clock on Tuesday evening. It will accumulate through daybreak on Wednesday and then we will have flurries off and on during the day. And here's the lowdown on the snowfall amount. It's a half of an inch of snow in the New River Gorge communities, one inch at 2,000 feet. If you live above 3,500 feet, that'll be about three and a half inches but in the Greenbrier Valley, as the storm moves over the mountains into the valley, a lot of that moisture will be depleted. So just a couple of flurries, not expecting any accumulation in the Greenbrier Valley. So here's how it all shapes up. Here's our weather system Tuesday evening coming in, and then it pushes off towards the east once we get into Wednesday. Then folks, we have a warm pattern and a moisture log system that'll come up through the Mississippi Valley this weekend. That will bring everybody who can hear me right now rain and on the back side of it just a little bit of snow. As for the aches and pains forecast, yeah, you'll probably feel it when that storm system comes through Tuesday evening and then we'll be okay with the pressure. But this next storm early next week promises to really bring the pressure down in the middle of next week. So the high temperature 39 degrees on Tuesday, 34 on Wednesday. So very little melting in the grassy areas, but I think that the overall the pavements will dry out in the afternoon. 41 on Thursday, back into the 50s over the weekend, and a generous rain on Sunday before it turns a little bit cooler on Monday. So earlier today, you and I both noticed that they salted U.S. Route 19, right? Yes, they, they already have. salted it. So, but you said too, it's going to float between half an inch to 3.5 for the higher areas. Yeah. So, do you think the salt's necessary? Do you think that schools are going to have a two-hour delay? Well, I do think that the pavement will be covered with a little bit of snow because of the timing of it being during the overnight period. Mm -hmm. So do prepare for a little bit of slippery travel on Wednesday, but that will just be for that window during the early part of the morning because this storm is coming at a good time to accumulate on paved surfaces. All right. Well, that's good to know. Thank you so much, Chad. Now we have more news coming up after this.